ready? BR80. Leonard Skinner be proud. What's up everybody and welcome to the Dog Pound. I am M-Dog coming to you from Bridgeville Rifle and Pistol Club in Bridgeville, Delaware. And before we jump into today's video, if you guys don't mind too much, please hit that old like button and think about subscribing to the channel because that truly helps us out tremendously and it don't cost you a thing other than a couple seconds of your time. We greatly appreciate you and we love you for it. Today, we're going to be doing a 100 round review on the Rock Island Armory VR80 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. She is a beauty. Now last week we did the 100 round review on his little brother, the VR80 220 gauge shotgun, and I wasn't disappointed at all with that thing. The performance or reliability of the VR82 was phenomenal. I'm hoping the same thing happens with the VR80 and it just keeps performing just as well as always performed since day one. The VR80 and the VR82 are very similar in a lot of ways. The VR80 is heavier and just a larger version of the VR82 with the punch of the mighty 12 gauge. The VR82 has the uh, lightning cuts in it. Uh, it's been skeletonized a little bit around the magwell. Uh, so they lightened it up quite a bit. I think it's almost two pounds lighter than its bigger brother here, uh, but you'll check the specs out in a second. You can see the differences between the two by going back and watching the review we did last week on the VR82. But for now, let's take a look at the specs on the VR8012 gauge. Now that you've seen the specs on the VR8012 gauge, let's take a look at the ammo we're using for today's review. We have one five round mag right here, getting ready to load it up with Fetter double up buck. And you guys have seen it now in a few of our videos and uh, this stuff has really done fantastic. I mean, very, very good, uh, especially in the mag fed semi-automatic shotguns. You know how finicky they are. So, it's proven to be some really good ammo and it has cycled great through all of our 12 gauge mag fed semi automatic shotguns that we've tested here on the range. I also used it in the Caltech KSG, if you all remember, which is a pump action bullpup shotgun. I almost hesitate to praise in some stuff too much because I'm afraid of jinxing things. I'm gonna call it superstition or just old head, I don't know. This ammo holds a great pattern up to 30 yards, which is the furthest distance I've tested it so far. 
In a home or personal defense situation, chances are you're going to find yourself well within that 30 yard distance. I have another five round mag getting ready to load up with the Federal Power Shock rifled slugs, two and three quarter inch. Uh, you guys also have seen them before, do really well. And the VR80 is able to shoot three inch magnum loads when you're using the five or 10 round mags for it. But if you're using the 19 round magazines, you can only use the shells that are two and three quarter inches. I believe that also applies to the drum mags uh, for the VR80 as well, but don't quote me on that one. So I don't have the drum mags, but anyone who uh, does, if they want to comment and uh, let me know, that, that'd be a big help. Thank you. So, disclaimer. Use only recommended choke tubes from the manufacturer when it comes to shooting slugs. It is recommended that only an improved cylinder or cylinder bore choke tube be used for slugs unless there's another manufacturer approved choke tube available. Fail to use a proper choke tube while firing slugs can result in damage to the firearm, including catastrophic failure. It can also result in serious injury to the shooter, including death. Do not be that guy. Do not be a statistic. Do not give the gun haters ammunition to use against us. Be smart. Be responsible. End of disclaimer. The VR-80 comes with two gas pistons when you purchase one, a light and a heavy load gas piston. And it's recommended that you use the light load gas piston during the gun's break-in period, which is approximately 250 rounds. It is also recommended that the light gas piston be used for all two and three quarter inch shells, regardless of what load you're using. That's what they recommend. The heavy load gas piston rarely gets used unless you're running 3 inch magnum shells rated over 1600 feet per second. And today I am using the light load gas piston for all the ammo we're going to be using here today. As long as everything goes well with our first couple mags, we're going to load up some slugs and some double up buck and these big old 19 round, I call them boomerang magazines or sickle magazines, but these things are crazy. Honestly, when I first got them, I thought it was like a novelty piece, but they run really well. So we'll load them up, and uh, if we get to that point, hopefully, God willing, and the creek don't rise, uh, everything will go well. Once I get through 40 rounds or so, I may even try to get throw in some bird shot, some low brass at that to see if it will cycle through the gun. And I'm not counting on that yet since we're still breaking the gun in. So now that we've discussed all the important technical stuff, it is now time for us to have some fun and let freedom ring. We will see you guys back here in a bit for our final thoughts. We got this bad boy Rock Island Army VR80 out here on the range. And it's had over it's had 100 rounds fired through it to be exact. We get done today, there'll be roughly 150, roughly. Uh, we'll start off with some federal power shock slugs two and three quarter inch and well, let's see how this thing is um, it does have the improved cylinder choke tube in it and everything about it loads just like an AR-15 so charging handles ambidextrous put it on either side so let's see how it does with these slugs put this bad boy on pew Five rounds down, 15 yards, not much distance, but first time shooting slugs out of it, I'm happy with that. Man, I love these VR uh, model shotguns. Awesome. So now we'll run these Federal double up buck out of it. These are also two and three quarter inch. Five rounds in a five round mag. Baby mag, still fun. But let's see how it does with this federal buckshot. And it's very, like I said, it's everything about it's just like an AR. So smooth. Your bolt, your uh, bolt releases over here. 
So let's rock and roll. Take it off pew pew. Put it on pew. Ready? VR80. Leonard Skinner would be proud. <laughs> Look at that sunset behind me. Isn't that beautiful? Time out here on the range in the evenings with the sun setting. Man, it's, it's so relaxing. But I'm tired of relaxing. It's time for the big dog to eat. So we've got 19 rounds right here of Federal Power Shock 2 and 3 quarter inch slugs. Let's make the magic happen. We empty. All right, these last rounds we're going to run through the VR8 of today are Fetter 12 gauge double up buck. Been great ammo so far. This is two and three quarter high velocity. We're going to see how it runs in a rapid fire session through the VR80. We'll shoot five, six rounds normal speed. And then we'll send the rest out in rapid session. Let's make the magic happen again. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Like I said, that's a high velocity double up buck coming out at a high, a high rate of speed. Even a big guy with me, like me, with a stable stance, it's going to drift you back a little bit. So just prepare yourself for the rise, the muzzle lift of the shotgun. It's going to happen, you know, unless you're some kind of giant. Uh, with roots on your feet, you're going to go backwards a little bit. Get yourself prepared for that shock. What a, what a, what a beast. My goodness. You ever run out of ammo? You can beat somebody with the daggone magazine. Throw it like a boomerang. Whew. Wow. What a beast. Let's head back to the kennels for our final thoughts.
Welcome back to the Kennels guys for our final thoughts on the VR80 Rock Island Armory 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. This is a bad dude. Of course I think everything's a bad dude if it works well, but this is really a bad dude. So what do y'all think of it? Have you ever shot one? Do you own one? Uh, I'd like to hear what you guys think. Uh, now that we've run 150 rounds through this thing, uh, we have really had good luck with it. And it's real easy to see why competition shooters, the three gun shooters, uh, love the VR80 and the VR82 rifle or shotguns. Uh, I got ready to say rifle platform because it, it looks like an AR-15 because it's built on an AR-15 platform. But I can understand why. These things are amazing. They, they've really uh, stepped up their game when it came to mag-fed semi-automatic shotguns. Uh, we had a really good one with the Panzer Arms Bullpup, but as far as the AR-15 uh, style platform shotguns, the VR uh, series from Rock Island Army has by far been the best ones we've encountered. So I wanna say thank you for everyone for watching and I hope you all enjoyed your time here with us. Your support means more than you all realize and our viewers are the best group of freedom lovers on YouTube. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and if you'd like to do a little more to help us out, you can become a member of our Dog Pound family and join us over on Patreon. And by becoming a Dog Pound patron, you will have direct access to some exclusive content, have first dibs on channel swag once it's available, and also help us be able to continue providing content here for you guys. The links to our Facebook and Patreon pages will be listed in the description of this video, and we hope to see you all over there. We want to thank our product sponsors who provided some of the items you guys have seen here in today's video. Splatterburst Targus is also a major lifesaver for us here at the Dog Pound since they've kept us stocked up with these great high visibility targets since we began. They have great targets that will help make your time on the range just a little bit better. Last but not least, thank you to Balestall Multipurpose Cleaner and Lubricant for helping us care for and protect our tools of freedom. Spend time with those you love and care about. Time spent with them is always time well spent. May you live as long as you want, never want as long as you live. Shoot straight, shoot often, be safe, God bless. We'll see you all right back here next time on the Dog Pound. VR80 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun from Rock Island Armory. Beautiful beast, a beast. Just a beast of a shotgun. We love you. Good night. And we go.